So in school, we're told that education is one of the most important aspects of our lives. But I'm pretty convinced that every person in this theater, every young and uh, not so young, sorry, would have at least once asked themselves the question, what is the point of all of this? And more importantly, how can I achieve my dreams with this? Because, you see, the interesting thing is, despite the fact that students are being forced, <coughs> I mean encouraged, to attend school for seven hours a day and five days a week, you'd be shocked at the amount of young people who leave school not knowing how to do some of the most basic things in life. For example, paying bills, using a washing machine, or even knowing how to iron their own clothes. But, you know, thank goodness they know Pythagoras' theorem and how to balance chemical equations, because that's definitely going to help them later on in life. The word educate is derived from the word education. Dictionary.com defines the word educate as the act or process of acquiring particular knowledge or skills, generally preparing oneself for a mature life. Now, with no disrespect to my maths teacher, but how exactly is finding the value of X going to help me live a mature life? It's not exactly like I'm going to be cruising down the motorway one day in my brand new Bugatti and see a sign that says, speed limit is X plus Y divided by two. <laughs> Let's face it, the likelihood of that happening is about as likely as physics becoming interesting. <laughs> <laughs> But on a serious note, though, when it comes to the type of topics that students should be learning, I think topics both relating and affecting students should have the utmost priority. Topics like budgeting, CPR, taking care of our mental health, and just genuine respect and decency for other people. Look at some of the most successful people of our time who have achieved great things despite the fact they wouldn't be what you and I would label as exam smart. Let me give you a couple of examples, and I'm sure you've heard of some of them. Albert Einstein, Richard Branson, Oprah Winfrey, and ironically, William Shakespeare. Ugh the one man responsible for causing depression among many young teens. <laughs> Believe it or not, but the individuals whose names I just gave you, they were all school dropouts. They didn't finish off their further education, and they didn't get the best grades in their exams, but yet managed to achieve the one thing that society would have told them they never could have achieved, which was their dreams. It's the lives of individuals like these who prove that the education system seriously needs to be looked at and reformed. They prove that a person's success isn't determined by their age, it's not determined by their gender, it's not determined by their ethnicity, and it's most importantly not determined by their grades, but it is de determined by their eagerness and ability to work hard towards accomplishing their dream. For the great Albert Einstein himself said, everyone is a genius, but if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its entire life believing that it's stupid. Look, as an individual, let me propose this. We can come together and create an environment where fish are no longer forced to climb trees, but create an environment where students are allowed to excel and reach beyond their own abilities. This is my dream's philosophy. <laughs>